Welcome to the session on Flicky Editor V2. At Flicky, our mission is to empower individuals and businesses to create professional and captivating videos effortlessly. Let's not waste time and directly jump into the editor. So this is the main area where we create files. Uh, so Flicky allows you to create files, podcasts, books. So you can create two types of files. One is audio and another is video. Firstly, we'll create a new file. You can either create a new file by clicking here, like create a new file or clicking here, new file. So let's create a video on finance. Nest. By the way, you can select different languages. So let's go with English. I'll select video and then hit create. The editor is divided into three sections. This section is where you will do most of the work, like write all your content. And this is the preview section where you can actually watch the preview of the video. And this is the customization section where you can customize different settings of different layers. If you want to change the layout of this editor, you can click on more, then click on editor layout. Then you can see like we have scenes on the extreme left layer in the middle and customization settings in the right. You can customize it accordingly. For example, if I want my player to be on the extreme left, I can click on this icon. The player will be on the extreme left and scenes would be in the middle and customize on the right side. So let's click on update and see how it looks. So you can customize the editor based on your needs. Let's go and reset the editor and go with the default settings. Main work, as I said, is done in this layout, scenes. You can think of scenes as an individual section in a video let's try creating video by idea to video feature so you need to click on convert then idea to video we want to create a finance video so let's say i have an idea of so this is my basic idea about the finance video i can create a short video of around one minute i can create a median video of around five minutes and i can select a long video of around 10 minutes so for now i'll select short and click submit guys as you can see it is automatically generating the scenes i'm not doing anything Let's check the preview. Tips for beginners with summary. Welcome to the world of budgeting. It's time to take control of your finances and set yourself up for success. Begin by assessing your income and expenses, writing down every source of income and each expense category. Next, prioritize your expenses, separating them into needs, wants, and savings goals. This will help you create a realistic budget. Use the 50-30-20 rule as a guideline, allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings or debt repayment. Track your spending and adjust your budget accordingly. Remember, consistency is key to mastering your budget and achieving financial freedom. To summarize, start with assessing your finances, prioritize expenses, follow the 50-30-20 rule, and track your spending to become a budgeting pro. Happy budgeting. We have just input our ideas and our video is already ready. Let's see how we can make this video even better. So you can see this is a square video. What if I want a horizontal video or portrait video? So we need to click on settings over here. And then we have the option of size. In size, we have all the three options. I want a landscape video. And besides, we can also control the fade effects between scenes. I can enable zoom effect for images. So let's it's safe. Our video is magically converted into horizontal video. So notice how amazing it is. Imagine you, you are in a situation where you have created a video for Reels and you wanted to publish that video in the form of YouTube video as well. You just need to quickly go to settings and change the size from here. A scene is subcategorized into different layers. The first thing is voiceover. Whatever you write in this text box, a subtitle will be displayed over here. And this text is converted into an AI voice. To change the AI voice and control the other features, you can click on the voice. The default voice is Sara. You can filter by language. So Flicky has 75 plus languages. You can see these are the different languages. Apart from that, you can filter by dialect. Flicky has over 100 plus accents and dialects which you can use. Apart from that, you can filter by gender and you can also change the voice styles like angry, cheerful, excited, friendly, hopeful, sad. Voices with thunder icon are only able to have the voice style. If you want to test out different voice, you can simply click on the speaker icon next to the voice name. 
So let's say I want to hear Jenny's voice. I can click over here. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. And once you have selected and decided like what would be the ideal voice in your case, you can just select a voice. For now, we'll continue with the default voice, Sara. And this checkbox allows you to add the same voice to all the scenes. We'll check this for now and hit select. Then in the right panel, you can customize your voiceovers. You can change the volume, speed, and change the control of subtitles as well. So either you can display subtitles or hide subtitles. So you can control the position of subtitles. You can take it to the top, left, center. Apart from that, you can control the font, size, display, text color, background color, shadow color of the subtitle. Once you have selected your settings, you can click on apply to similar layers. It applies the same settings to all the scenes. So you don't have to manually apply the same setting to all the layers. Layout is basically controlling what you see in the video. This particular video, we can again change it by clicking on this icon. We can search from our stock library of 6 million plus premium assets. We can have a video, we can have an image, we can have a GIF based on our needs. And similarly, we can also create an AI art by giving a brief description of our tech. Apart from that, you can use the My Library to actually upload media assets from your device and this tab recent includes all the videos that you have used recently in your project and in the right panel you you can control the layout options let's say you can use this where we can divide the video into two sections so if you are having a video where you want to differentiate between two things you can uh, use this layout and similarly we have more layout options which you can use according to your needs so you can con also control the direction of the layout so let's say I want this to be at the bottom. I can control the fit as well. So let's say I change the fit from cover to contain. Notice how it changes. It will contain the whole video in it. Let's go back to cover. It will definitely crop the video, but I think it looks nicer in this case. So you can auto pick media by clicking on this button. With the layers option, you can add a text picture in picture and audio to the particular scene. Let's try to add a text layer. First, remove the subtitles from this particular scene. Let's say we want to have a grand opening of a video where we are writing. So we want the video to look like this. Meanwhile, we can also put some abstract background here. So I've just randomly selected uh, one of the media. You can obviously spend more time and try to find the perfect background for this particular text. Let's get back to the text. So when I click on the text layer, I can again control the position, font, size, text color from the right panel. Uh, let's keep the position at the bottom. We can control the size from small, medium. Let's make it large. So these are settings that you can control and fine tune your video. So notice how we got an absolute amazing text layer that helped us glorify the title of the video. We can even add more layers. Like for example, if you want to add a picture to your particular scene, you can click on picture in picture and a picture media will be displayed over your video. So for now, let's delete this. Some guys ask in the chat support that how we can remove the background. So what you can do is you can click on the background color and change the alpha to zero. So right now we have alpha 100. Let's do it zero. So notice how the background color is moved and it is looking really good. Let's move to another feature, cool feature of Flicky. So let's say I've created my video. I've created a few sections on my own. By the way, you can add sections on your own by clicking on the plus icon and it says add a new scene. Just click over here. It will add an empty scene where you can again type text on your own which will be converted into speech by AI and subtitles will be displayed. Also, for example, I want to not actually write content on my own and I want uh, like AI to generate content for me. So I have this particular content already written over here. I can click on more and click on auto generate next. This feature automatically creates the next scene for us. So it's an in interesting and handy feature for us. Many of you guys want to have a background music to your video, watermarks to your video. So you can apply these things by using the common scene. So a common scene is a scene where layers added to the scene will be persistent throughout the video. So if you add a audio layer to a common scene, it will reflect throughout the video. Click on add layer to add these different layers. You can have text layer, picture in picture, watermark, audio. So any layer you add, it will reflect throughout the video. So let's say we want to have a background music. I can either add a layer from this option and select audio or I can directly click on choose file from here since we already have an audio layer in the common scenes. Let's click on choose file. 
so for the purpose of this video i want something this sound let's select this so now let's try to play the video again budgeting tips for beginners welcome to the world of budgeting it's time to take control of your finances and set yourself up for success. It's too loud. Again, we can control the settings of audio by clicking on the audio layer. Then on the right panel, we can control the settings. For now, the volume is set at 50. Let's reduce it. And let's share it again. Budgeting tips for beginners. Welcome to the world of budgeting. It's time to take control of your finances and set yourself up for success. Looks good, looks good. Let's say I want to add my watermark on this video. I just need to click on add layer, then watermark, then a watermark layer will be added to that common scene. Click on this media icon and add our watermark. Again, similar to all the layers, we can control the settings of this layer from the right panel. Size would be small, would be better, I guess. Perfect. The video looks good for now. If you want to export the video, you can click on this icon. It comes to processing. Clicky will quickly process this video and even send you a mail when your video is ready to export. Let's close this for now and let me show you another exciting feature. So when we click on more and click on translate, we can actually translate the entire video to any other language. Let's say we want to translate it to Spanish. Let's hit submit. Let's see this one first. Supuesto para principiantes. Bienvenido al mundo de los presupuestos. Es hora de tomar el control de sus finanzas y prepararse para el éxito. Comience evaluando sus ingresos. I don't know a single thing about Spanish and I have a Spanish video ready for me. So notice how I can use this feature to actually reach to global audiences. It would be perfect for businesses. Let's see if our export is ready on the previous file. See our video is ready. Budgeting tips for beginners. Welcome to the world of budgeting. It's time to take control of your finances and set yourself up for success. Begin by assessing your income and expenses, writing down every source of income and each expense category. Next, prioritize your expenses, separating them into needs, wants, and savings goals. This will help you create a realistic budget. Use this video looks amazing. So what I just need to do is I, I need to click on download and then video will be downloaded to my local device. And I can always go to these settings and quickly repurpose this video by clicking on this. See, the video is repurposed. So that's how powerful Flicky is.